Okay, so here I am bushwhacking it through the snow. Sometimes it gets pretty deep. It's a hard, it's like a wet, heavy snow. And it's slippery. Okay, so I'm looking for the sideline here. I think it goes up a little higher, but I got some snags to chase. I got short snag there, short snag there. There's a tall one over there. And the full length tree snag right there. I recently died. Another one there that recently died. Oh, there's another one right there. Little guy. It's tall but skinny. And the line is just right up over there. I'm wondering, oh, I see it right there. Okay, so it's a little higher up. It's about level with that snag right there, but I gotta get these ones here. And I gotta get, even though it's below the line, I gotta take it because it'll impact the work zone. It's gotta take these tall ones. So I'm working my way over there. I'll get these little ones on the way. And I can see ruts around the corner. I haven't been over there before. So I just took a little snag over there. Well, tall, skinny one. Yeah. We'll see what's around the corner. Yeah, flat street down over there. It's kind of cool. Okay, well, how should I get over this blow down here? I guess I'm gonna go up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I. I have to jump over. Okay, here we go. Oh, slip. Nice. Nicely done. Oh yeah. Well, let's go up here. Is that a spider web on my face? Yeah, must be. I can feel it. Okay, just put that there. Get my footing. Okay. Nice big flat area right down there. So the snake here is leaning down a bit in this way. So that's where I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall right down there. The line must be up there a little ways. Yeah, okay. Let's get to it then. Okay, so there's a snag. I'm gonna put the tripod right here in this hook of this tree here. <laughs> Pretty cool looking. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I just noticed, looking up the hill, I got a corner post right there. Right there. Uh, so I guess the line goes up the hill a little bit and then comes sideways. So I thought the line may have continued on an angle up the hill, but it doesn't. Which makes sense because on the map, it doesn't look like that. Yeah, so, so like this is probably a good 40 feet, the stump here from the bottom line. So it'll impact the work zone um, quite easily because it's, it's such a tall snag. But also, um, since this is a conventional block, it's gonna be a grapple yarder in here. Uh, even though we flew here, the road's not built here yet. So, but they want the wood down. So I guess when the road is in, the wood's are already laid out, ready to go to start yarding. That's what I'm assuming, that's why we're flying in here. <laughs> uh, which is great for me because then I, I, can, I can work, right? I can, making money and everyone else here real happy about it so because the winter is always short and work there's always more fallers here on the coast than there is work because a lot of blocks are snowed out so if you can get a job in the winter that's, that's good especially if you're one of the gypsy fallers like me that go around working for, for all sorts of different people but if you're one of the core guys in a, in a bigger company then good chance you're going to stay busy all year round um and then I like to go firefighting in the summer. That's good money. And it's easy, you know, compared to here. Technically, pretty easy. Um, yeah, okay, so what I was saying is, 
Um, the hook tenders, they're like the, the, the bottom line is halfway up the hill, or halfway along the hill. So they're not going to want to put their tail holes on, right on the line because they won't have any lift, right? And they don't want to, why would you climb a tree when you can just go down to the bottom of the hill, out along the flats, and rig up on a tree out in the flats, and then you can get your big lift, right? So it's another good reason to get uh, all your snags, even this little farther away, because you got workers down there, hook tenders down there, um, bringing up some trees. That's what I'm assuming they're going to do. Um, yeah. It'd be so much easier. Like, why would you climb a tree when you can just go down there to some big ones down there on the flats, right? You can get all the lift you want. So, anyways, I'm going to be busy for a bit. I got a bunch of snags, some small stuff to get. Nothing interesting to film anyway. So, I got a lot of work ahead of me. So, I don't know. This might be my last one today. I film. I don't know. If there's anything quick and easy and entertaining, I'll, I'll whip up the cameras. Real quick and easy to do. But uh, I got to I gotta get some work done. So, some not so fun work climb around the steep hillside in the snow getting all this garbage wood <laughs> opening it up for you know so i'll see you guys in a little bit hey want to see something want to see some tree pee look at this look at that yellow snow look at that yellow snow there that's from the tree a dead tree look at that big rotten snag i've seen it in a few trees i don't know what it is it must be just a nasty tree water dripping out. Rotten tree water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I just thought to show that. Okay. <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, look at that. Sun's coming out. I think you can see the hillside over there now. It's all opened up enough. Starting to get a view. That's good. Okay, continue on. That was just small stuff to get still. Oh, there should be a big one up there I'll get later today. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, it's just getting brighter. Okay, so this is my new, the new elevation of my face now. I got all this stuff here all opened up. And I'm gonna, corner post right there so I have to go around this ridge there's a, uh, a ridge that kind of rolls over like this right here so I'm gonna go over there and see what's over there and open up over there so let's take over there Jeez, <laughs> slipping and sliding What have we got going over here? Okay, so it looks like the ribbon drops down the hill a little bit. Let me just, let me just do a little recce here, leave my saw here. Oh, I see. Okay. So line drops down. Where's that ribbon? Right there. And it goes over right there. And it goes back up the hill, right over there. See it? Orange ribbon right there. Okay. So I guess I'll start in that big hemlock right there. And just work back my way. <clears throat> and then, once I work from there, back to my opening right over there, how this opened up. Then if there's any trees over that way, I'll have a big opening for them to fall into this way. Yeah. Bit of a draw right here, eh? Yeah, okay. Nothing, nothing very big, pretty small stuff. Didn't really need to bring my big ax. <laughs> Should have just brought my little ax. But yeah, just some small stuff, so. I don't know. Might, this might be it for today. Film. But a whole bunch of small, easy stuff to get. Just time consuming. So. Okay. Well. I might see you guys next video. Okay. I finally got a tree to wedge now. It's not a very heavy leaner, but. 
I got it started. Out in the ears. Yeah, she just slides in. Pretty far. Do you have to hit it very hard and it slides in pretty far? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's hit the camera. Watch how much it goes in. Yeah, they've hit ours. Yeah. So easy. About to go. There she goes. Yeah, I don't know how to show how much better it is, like, visually. I have to wait till I get a, a really good wedger and then get my wedge and the K&H wedge side by side. How do I show that I'm hitting it just as hard on either side? I don't know how I'm going to do that, but yeah, it works great. It's so easy to wedge. <laughs> I'll just film a bunch more and I don't know, I'll figure it out. But there's my stump. Yeah, oh, probably got two tanks left today. Uh, just a bunch of small stuff. We're gonna bring my little axe tomorrow. You know, it's pretty easy going in here. I'll show you that to camera on. There, I was looking straight up. And see there's a draw right here. And then there's a little bit of a hump. And then the hillside goes straight over that way. And my partner's over there. That's where I was this morning, way over there on the corner. And uh, I got audited today, so you gotta get an audit. Uh, on a regular basis, so I had uh, my boss, Bullbucker, come down. He measured my stumps, looked at my face, looked, making sure everything was good. I got my snags and everything. Everything was good. So that's done. Uh, but he came down this ridge right here. This ridge right here. He said it's real easy, and it looks easy. It doesn't look nearly as steep as my trail way over there. My trail way over there is super steep. This one here looks a lot more uh, gentle of a slope. So I'm going to go straight up there, and then I hike along the ridge to the pad that way. And then my other partner over here, he was coming this way and we were getting too close. And I was like, ah, oh, you're gonna have to move back to the way. So he did that. Um, but you can see there's a big ridge right here and, and he's around the corner, another side of the ridge way over there. So I got lots of distance now, there's no conflict. So I'm gonna be pushing this way for the rest of the day, open up along the bottom line. Yeah. And I got, uh, there's Devil's Club everywhere. Of course there's none right around here I can show you, but there's some down that creek there, there's a bunch of Devil's Club. And I, I slipped on some snow and I flung my hand out and I swiped some devil's club. So I got a bunch of devil's club needles on my hand right now. I gotta pick out the sewing needle when I get home or uh, back to camp. Yeah, I feel it. It's annoying. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, 10 minutes to quitting time. Now I got a view over here too. That's the main valley over there. Um, the valley goes from here and it goes around this corner here. This mountainside goes around there, between that mountain there and this one here, wraps around. And then there's another valley that goes off to the right. I don't think anyone's been up there before. Oh, I think I did in the chopper, I've seen one cut block right on the edge there, but farther in, it hasn't been touched. Same thing with this valley, it's all untouched. No one's ever been in there before. I don't think even hunters have been in there, it's just way, or pretty remote, eh? Yeah. There's all logos out there. It's, yeah, it's pretty good going. We'll get up there one day. But this is a, a little trick that I do to fuel up on a hill. Well, I mean, it's pretty flat right here, but if you're on a steep hill, you just back bar into a stump, and then you got a nice level uh, saw there to fuel up on. And I did opened all this up, this tank, and I worked way up there. Uh, there's a draw here, and there's another draw just over there, and I worked up into that draw, and I joined up with my other falling partners um, when he was working this way, and I reached to where he'd stopped, and then uh, I was getting low on fuel, so I came back and got some stragglers and smaller saplings and stuff. Pretty much quitting time, though. Yeah. Man, that river's loud down there. So it looks like I'm going to be 
continuing on that way tomorrow. But what I might do actually in the morning is uh, a bit of a low point. Huh? The, cause the hill sort of slowly wraps around right here. So a bit of a low point. So I might grab that. I'll talk to my partner here uh, in camp and see what his plan is tomorrow. And if I can jump in there for a tank or two and bring that up a little bit, and that'll be nice. And then I'll start working the, working this way. There's a real big cedar right out there. Look at that one. It's huge. I'll zoom in. Can you see it? Monster big cedar right there. And I'll zoom right in. Look at, that. Look at the base of that cedar. It is a big one. Hopefully I'll get to that one. I think so, because my other partner over there, he's way around the corner, so I think I'll get that eventually. I don't think I'll get it tomorrow because it's pretty far up the hill, but in a few days I'll get to it. Depends on how long my face is. My other partner. If my other partner moves back that way, then I can move back that way. So then uh, it'll just make it, uh, I'll make it slower working way, my way up the hill. So my face will be real long. That's fine. More cutting the better. Oh, there's another big cedar right here. There's a snag. Look at the split top, I'll show you. That one right there, look how big it is at the butt. It's gotta be eight feet at the butt. We'll zoom up or pan up. There, look at that. She split apart, so you gotta be careful. She doesn't just fall on me. We'll get that one tomorrow, later in the day tomorrow, I think. Yep. Oh, it's just quitting time. That's generally how I set my gear for the night. Not always on a stump like that, but that's generally how I do it. There's my power wedge. Yeah. Start to see some wear now. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. I got quite the hike up to my pad. Maybe I'll get a shot of me flying out. Uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to check out woodboss.ca. For the wedges, I have his coat, got him out of sweaters. So, but I got some other stuff on there, some regular merch. Um, so, thanks for watching. See you later.